Okay, here we go again. Another merciful glitched attempt. Gonna be a glitched run, but there's a... Uh, glitches will begin 50% of the way through the game as soon as I get to um, level 28, which as you can see on the splits is when weird things that are not expected to start appearing after Barith. Oh, but until then, we're just going to play the game normally on Merciful, which is pretty easy. The game, you can honestly like auto through a lot of the game. I uh, quickly go through this dialogue by, I remap to the fast forward button to the right trigger, so I can basically hold down the right trigger all of the time to fast forward some dialogue, and then you alternate A and B to really uh, mash through it quickly. This is the uh, third or fourth round today. The first one, it was looking really good. I got to assembly of Nihilo, and then I forgot to enter the large terminal. So then after Barith, <laughs> I was I would have lost a few minutes walking all the way back. Um, and then we had a really good SMC after that, but I forgot to switch the difficulty to Merciful after uh, I finished my recruits. And then we just finished an attempt where I looked like a really good SMC. I had two uh, strength ups in the tutorial section, and then I unfortunately could not get Shikigami to spawn. And I really want my SMCs to be optimal because there's not that much luck in this run, and that early section Great. actually is like the difference of a few minutes. So I might as well you need reset for a good SMC. Well, and my PB had a really good one actually. But there is time to save elsewhere. We've discovered a couple new tiny skips that I um, can take advantage of here. And there's also a couple mistakes in the other room. So if all goes well, this should be a world record. Kind of guaranteed. As long as uh, we get past this one luck section in the beginning, and then we just do the speedrun as intended, this should be a world record. Normal. walk in a straight line here because the trigger is right in front of me. Well, uh, hmm. There's any Oh. Some... I Okay, running a straight line to the elevator. Press B to skip the animation. We didn't need the sacred water vending machine in the subway, but we do want the Soma here. Uh, sacred water means nothing to us in this room. Like, very unlikely we get status. But that Soma sells for a bunch, and we actually do need a little bit of money for this run to work. It's mostly just um, we need to buy Hifumi immediately. Um, and then we actually do need to do some fusions after uh, after Barith. And it's the one thing my last run messed up is I kind of messed up the fusions after Barith and I had to go to the shop and sell some junk that I had lying around and like scrounge together loose change to continue. It's like the biggest mistake of the last run. It's like two or three minutes lost there.
Okay, press B. Wiggle over here a little bit. I'm really tired of this intro. I think everyone is, who plays this game is tired of this intro, but it's worse playing on HD because I think the voices make the cutscenes slower. I've heard like it's like the main difference between HD and SD is how slow these cutscenes are. Mm -hmm. So, resetting for SMC is a little uh, okay. aggravating. Where at? You're the Look. Anyway. Okay, spin around. You can walk in a straight line here and hit this thing. And then it'll plop you to the left a little bit. Yeah, that was cool last round. I got two strength ups in the tutorial. I've never seen that before. That's like... I think it's 25% on the Magatama Wiggle that will give a strike up, and it's a 50% chance that you get the Magatama Wiggle at all. So that's pretty unlikely. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it would have made the early punches a little heftier. Your life ends here. Specifically, what we're looking for in these like optimized Shinjuku Medical Centers that I'm resetting for is a. Uh, we need a Shikigami, for sure. We need that for the fusion route. And then we need one other demon, Stop! which is usually Kodama, because in the first three rooms of SMC, you can only really see Kodama and Will of the Wisp. Um, but I want to get both of those before I physically get to Fornius. I don't want to have to like run around in circles getting Shikigami. It's like, it's not worth wasting minutes at the beginning of the game when we only have a few oh. minutes to save. This is a kind of okay preconception. This cutscene here actually does not plop you into a predetermined spot, so I kind of try to align myself with the gate a little bit going into it. What? Um, yeah, this conception. I think it should be like 8.30, probably 8.37 actually. Oh. It'll be about the same as last time. I've done this conception so much, I'm like... It's like down to the second, I'm thinking about how much time I'm saving or losing. <laughs> it's negligible over the course of the run, obviously, little seconds like that, but... If I'm doing this part over and over, I might as well, like, <laughs> have a little game of it. It's nice to see green at the very beginning, too, you know? What so, minute? Okay. Yeah, so I'm looking for Shikigami. The reason we need Shikigami is because... We are going to be doing some glitchy things later. We're going to have a team of Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Um, the first time I did this run, I just ran it in four Dantes. I was like, we can have you know, as many Dantes as we want. Let's have a team of four of them just go beat the game on Merciful Mode. It's pretty easy. But then as I thought about it, um, as optimizing this a little more, um, three Dantes is fine because you can pass a fourth demon's turn to a fourth Dante or to the to the first Dante. Um, man, it's kind of hard to talk over this cutscene. So we're gonna go with three Dantes and one other demon because that's basically the same as having four Dantes and cloning a Dante takes a few minutes. 
So if you're going to have a fourth demon, who's it going to be? And the answer is it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, except it would be nice to have Tarukaja. That would ex that would speed up a couple battles. So Shikigami learns Tarukaja. Um, we can pass that up on a couple fusion chains. Yeah, and that'll be our final team. Three Dantes and a demon with Taru Kaja. Uh, probably it'll be Take Minakata in particular. There's some wiggle room, depending on who you recruit in SMC. If you pick... Uh, I have like a strategy for Take Minakata and also a strategy for Momonofu. It's not bad either. I set the, diff the uh, graphics to low, just because. The menu claims that it might save some performance, but I really think it doesn't. It just makes the game look terrible. That's okay. It's kind of funny. Okay, we're finally kind of done the intro. Fast forward through Hijiri's dialogue here. Um, it is important that we save at this terminal. It is not optional. We must save at this terminal for one of the glitches later to work. What? We're going to use this save file here that hasn't done the tutorial yet to cheat our way into the fifth Kalpa later. So before the run started, I deleted all of the saves I had on this computer. Well. Uh, first of all, so that, like, there's no... I mean, we're, if we're going to be messing around with, like, weird save file shenanigans, it's nicer and cleaner if we just only have saves that were made during the run. And then secondly, I think you also, like, save the game a little faster. Like, watch. It, it won't ask you to overwrite. Just, like, hit A. It's done. Just like that. Saves, like, half a second. Tiny thing. Okay, now we're going to head to the tutorial. Um, this is merciful and unmerciful. You do a ton more damage. You get a ton more XP from battles. Enemies miss a lot for some reason. It's like you have max Tsukukaja all the time. Um, and there's also greatly decreased encounter rates. So, although this tutorial section is infamous on hard mode, on merciful, we can just triangle our way through it. I'm going to be leveling up strength for the first handful of level ups, because we need to punch for a little while, and it'll speed up uh, the first three bosses. And then we'll be going all magic after that. Grab this medicine, because it'll help with recruits. Hold B to go faster in the water. Uh, we're just going to rush this Will of the Wisp. Hopefully he misses, so we'll save a press turn and a dialogue. Yes, it's faster if he attacks instead of death touches, but that's fine. That's fine. And that hit doesn't matter. It's the same either way. One shot them, obviously. Uh, we're going to level up strength. Leveling up strength here is actually just enough to give us the chance to one shot this Prada. On this Prada, you'll either hit a 29 or a 31. Okay, there we go. So that was a one shot. You never hit a 30 for some reason. Some weird Nocturne math rounding. So we got to one shot him. No strength up, but that's okay. 
Walk in a straight line here because the trigger is in the middle and it always places you in the middle no matter where you are, so. Uh, yeah, because of the XP boost on Merciful, we'll level up from basically everything. Walk diagonally here in the water. One shot these Kodama. First half of this round, we'll just be leveling up as fast as we can. We need to get to level 28 to do our glitches. Um, and unfortunately, the fastest way to get to level 28 is to play the game and fight a lot of bosses and stuff. So if there was a place we could just stop and grind, we would do that, but we can't. Or I mean, it's slower than just playing the game. Um, We'll get to level 28 much faster than a regular, another difficulty run would, because Merciful increases the XP rate so much. But since it also decreases the encounter rate, um, it does make it a little weird. I'm gonna very quickly go through this dialogue. Um, so I actually, I want some encounters as I'm making my way to Barith is around when I want to be level 28. Um, this dialogue. This Praetor fight will just punch Zeo Punch. Hopefully they miss the first turn. That'll save a dialogue and a press turn if they do. And obviously it's faster if they attack instead of Feral Claw. That's ideal. That's great. Okay. After this fight, I'm going to switch the difficulty to normal briefly because I want encounters before Fornius. Um, and recruits are 100% before Fornius. So this is the time to do it. And switch the difficulty. Merciful, as I said, decreases the encounter rate. We actually want to get a few enemies here. Probably we'll recruit a Kodama, it's most likely. Uh, does not look like we'll get a full encounter, or a full moon encounter. I think it'll be 7 eighths descending. Which is fine. It, it's kind of nice to have Will of the Wisp because Reaver Rama can kind of help later, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, and it would be cool to get this lifestone. We'll get this lifestone, yeah, before the battle pops. Um, that's the one way you can fail encounters before Fornius, is if they ask for an item you don't have. That's why we get that and the medicine in the tutorial. Uh, counter a pop here. Hopefully it's Kodama. Cool. They did not interrupt me. So yeah, it's very likely you'll get Kodama. And now I want a Shikigami. You can't get him up here. You need to get to the basement first. Um... So hopefully this encounter pops as I hit the basement, and then as soon as I get him, I'll switch the difficulty back to Merciful. Okay, let's see. No. At least they let me get away though. We don't need any of the items around here, obviously. This encounter is not looking good. I, I really don't want to get to Fornius physically before I have Shikigami. This will pop right before it. So let's see, do we have him? Yes. Wow, that is great. Okay, that was a great SMC. We only had one unnecessary encounter and it was immediately a runaway. That's fine. It's it's fine if you get an extra encounter, if you recruit something extra. But uh, let's switch the difficulty back. Okay, cool. That was great. That was actually better than the PB. I think. I think we'll see. The PB was almost perfect too. It wouldn't have had to get a Huapo. That's the one thing that can happen at the end there. That's kind of neat. But Kodama's fine too. I'm just gonna zero this guy. Okay. 
Should be two turns. Yeah, this turn he should die. Let's get the dialogue. Cool. Wow, great. This is awesome. I usually start putting magic there. Um, okay, and now we're gonna equip Waratsumi. Uh, I could have let that change, it doesn't matter. I can say no to the items. The only one that's kind of useful is an attract pipe. But it's like just as fast to take an item as it is to say no to an item, so. Okay, good start. I'm a little jealous still of my last failed run. I got two strength ups and a Hua Po. That would have been kind of neat to do that run. But this is still, I mean, the extra demon really doesn't make that big of a difference and neither does the strength up either, I honestly. As soon as we get Ice Breath, we're going to Ice Breath almost everything. And then as soon as we get Tornado, we will Tornado everything. So it's really just uh, Spectre and Troll. And a couple of random encounters are going to be nice to punch them. So this... Man... The other reason Huapo is nice is Kodama is, like, unfortunately super fast. He gets a lot of agility, and that gets kind of weird. Okay, we're gonna go straight to Shibuya. Recent discovery for me is that you don't actually need to go to Yoyobi. Pixie will be a little mad at you, but that's fine. So in my last turns, I would come here just to tell her that I'm not gonna leave her. But this time I'm just gonna go straight to Yoyogi, or sorry, Shibuya. Are we gonna get an encounter here? Okay, good. Well, oh, that was close. Usually you don't, because it's merciful. But for some reason, that section, I do get encounters sometimes. Like, there's a good chance we'll get through all of Shibuya without an encounter, for example. Uh, we're gonna go straight to Club Inferno. Um, yeah, and I do want to take some encounters, but I want them to be worth it. And... Uh... Shibuya's encounters aren't great. A lot of them are like pixies and stuff. I don't think I'll get an encounter. It's still yellow right now. I don't think I'll get an encounter before I leave here, which is fine. Um, Amala 1 is when you start getting kind of neat encounters. So yeah, we're only doing, almost every city we go to, we're only doing the plot uh, significant things. We are not stopping for chests, we are not stopping for recruiting or anything. Uh, we're not going to stop at this, oh yeah, threat. So this is where Pixie complains if he didn't go to Yogi. We don't need to buy anything, uh, but we do need to go to the cathedral, this is a plot trigger. You actually need to say hi to Mido. Yeah, so Pixie tells you, like, hey, this isn't Yoyogi, bring me to Yoyogi. And then <laughs> you just keep going. <laughs> she doesn't stop you. This Welcome. Hmm. So, 
So. Okay, here's Amala. Um, yeah, so I I have gone through all of Amala before without getting an encounter, but I am okay with encounters if we do get them. Because you can get some decent ones for XP. It, it's kind of rough we don't have a fast way to kill them yet. All we can do is punch them, really. Um, it's also, Spectre's a little faster if you get to evolve High Pixie. So it's not bad to get early XP. If not, she'll evolve uh, when you defeat Spectre. Oops. Hug the right wall here because it places you in the middle. Don't need whatever is in that door. We'll just keep going ahead. Walking a straight line here. Oh, we're orange indicator. So we're gonna get an encounter for sure. Unless I wanna erase it by going into the terminal room now. But I, I'm okay with getting this encounter, so I'm gonna let it pop. I could erase it. Might be the only encounter of Amala. Hey. All right. Huh? heal here just so Pixie and Shikigami have their MP back although they didn't really use that much but still it's a quick heal It's not bad XP. I mean, it's not great, but... You could get like the triple arrows, or I think there's like a two arrows, two earth, this one. I mean, it's slow though, because we don't have Ice Breath. Pixie doesn't have Wing Buffet yet. I think. Maybe she does. think we'll get another encounter. We might barely get one before Spectre. Interesting. I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, attack everyone. You don't have wing buffet, do you? No. Okay, that's fine. So now high pixie should be evolved before the fight, which is cool. That is cool.
Okay. That'll speed up the fight a little bit. That's that's pretty good. Beat is fine. Sure. Sure. I'm not going to use either of those, but fine. Okay. I'm not sure if it's fast to Rakunda the big foul or the big specter with with high pixie. She'll go first. No, I don't think I will. I'm just gonna hold triangle. <laughs> if you get a crit, you can kill a few of these, but it doesn't really matter. If I had gotten a crit, it would have killed that third one, too. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, it's worth Rakunda in here. I don't think it is. I think I just hold Triangle. Even if just because it's faster not to menu. <laughs> I think you'll die in two turns all the same. As long as this doesn't... Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's definitely not worth recruiting. The only item that's maybe worth it is an attract pipe. Every other item I do not need at all, but I don't know. I keep asking. Okay, fine, just give me all this crap. It's... Oh, uh, I forgot to split. I don't even know when I split last time. I can do it now. Whatever. That was good. Like, we're ahead. Especially because, uh... I'm guessing in the last run we probably didn't get any encounters in a model one. And now we're, like, a little ahead XP-wise. We're going for the true demon ending, so we will complete the maiden's request here, but uh, we will not be doing it by getting the clan to Labyrinth. We'll be cheating. Okay, um, we're just going to run straight through Ginza. There's some decent XP encounters here, but uh, You're likely not to get them. We're gonna grab this repulse bell. It probably won't be used, but it's right here and it's possible it'll be used, so. I'm willing to waste five seconds in case that saves like a minute later. Namely, if we get an attract pipe, the attract pipe might be helpful. And if we have an attract pipe, it would be really nice to turn it off with the repulse bell.
Uh, there's pretty good encounters here in uh, the underpass. So it wouldn't be bad to get one or two before we get to the uh, the city side. Sudama is not bad for XP. I don't remember if Nozuchi is on the first half here. And But anyway, we have yellow indicator. We're probably not getting an encounter. <laughs> the encounter radar is like linear. The time it takes to go from yellow to orange is the same time it takes to go from orange to red, which is the same time it takes to go from red to encounter. So the fact it's like still yellow after making a bunch of after walking a bunch, you know, is a sign it's probably not getting to red. <laughs> or not getting to an encounter. This section is pretty short. It's not worth walking around for the encounter. Later on it might be. In underpass two. This is one of those dialogues you can skip super fast for some reason. Um, we're just gonna go in. Do some plot stuff, and then leave. I'll be in the water to go faster. Oh shoot, there's gonna be a... Maybe an Asura encounter? That would be cool. Maybe on the way back we'll get an Asura encounter. I don't know if it'll pop. It might barely not pop. There's a bead chain in a chest there, but we do not need it. Most runs and most players should grab it. But not us. Plot triggers. Now we're gonna need to go back to Ginza and fight Troll. We might get any Sora as we're walking to the terminal now, which I would not mind. I don't think it's worth stopping though, if I don't. Yeah, that sucks. I thought I might get it. I don't know how much longer it's a it, how long it how far away it is though. Okay, now I'm a little apprehensive about the XP. We haven't gotten an encounter in a while. I'm not gonna go in here either. Actually, it's not that far. Well, oh, it's not worth it. Like, it gains us hit or miss. You can get some low-level crap here. So you're just going to get the key item. Uh, troll, I think like a Rakunda or two is good. But otherwise, we're just going to punch him.
Okay, we're ahead, but I think that's like a bad sign. I think that means the other run probably had more encounters. I'm gonna head in on this side because I want to stop to heal and this side is closer to the heal point. Okay, I'm gonna kind of just hope that we get a bunch of encounters in Underpass 2 because we kind of need them now. It's the first time we went to a town, by the way. Just gonna get that dialogue. Uh, yeah, we really want uh, High Pixie's Raccoon uh, MP back for Matador. We need to buy Hifumi right now. This is the most important purchase of the game. And we'll also buy some Chakra Drops. That's not bad. Well, it's only one. I really would have liked more. That is, that's XP though. Dang, if I had gotten a three there, I might have gotten a level up before the fight. It's not bad to get, you can, you know, depending on how your XP works, you can get ice boost before Matador, which speeds that up. It's not really worth trying for it though, if you don't get it. Did our side quest thing. We can proceed to Matador. Matador himself, we're just going to Rakunda and Ice Breath, basically. I think MC goes third. I think, right now, which is good. Um, yeah, so it'd be a Rakunda pass, Ice Breath, pass Rakunda, pass Ice Breath. Unless Shikigami gained agility, which happens, then it's really annoying. The reason we don't equip Hifumi yet is because it would be really cool to get Ice Boost. Sucks. Oh, that turnover is bad. Maybe we didn't get a dubs either. This fight's gonna be a little jank. Oh, he's not missing. I mean, he's got a red capote on. Is that four? Is this four? As long as he doesn't Dakunda. Well, let's do that. That. Yeah. 
Good. One more might kill. Oh, okay. Well, that's it. Yeah, that's not bad. We actually wanted that recovery. <laughs> He could have changed it, it didn't matter, but whatever. Okay, that was not bad. I'm gonna equip Hifumi, we have Ice Boost. I still really want encounters here in uh, Underpass. So I, you know, pray, pray this radar turns orange in a second. <laughs> this is like the best chance to catch up. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. at all. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I meant to ice breath. Can you kill them all, please? Okay, cool. Great. Couple more would be good too. Okay, hold B in the water to go faster. This encounter radar is not looking good though. <laughs> We might not get another encounter for the rest of Underpass. That's okay. Be red at the end. I don't know if I want to run around. This is a really slow encounter. It's gonna take like 30 seconds to go to red or to go from red to battle. Yeah, it's not worth it. We don't need the incense, obviously. Set straight to EK Bukuro. Um, I do want to heal because, well, do we? We don't need to. No, yeah, we don't need to heal. Is MC is. Fine. No, actually, I want to heal. I want to have my ice boost MP back. <laughs> I mean, I could use a chakra drop, but it's just as quick. Dude, it can. Ice. From... Welcome oh. to the cathedral. Are you sure? Oh. Are you sure? Oh, all right. Are you sure? This fusion is unskippable because it's the first one. Um, yeah, I have Pixie, High Pixie with for Eros. Then I'll buy back Pixie and High Pixie. It's actually really important that I registered Shikigami there. I've lost a run because I forgot to do that. We need to make sure he has Tarukaja in the compendium. We have Mito's gonna talk about some dumb shit we're not gonna use. Besides the... All right. 
Are you sure? Oh. All right. Okay. Uh, cool. The reason I was ambivalent about healing is because we were going to do that. We were going to fuse High Pixie away and then buy her back. So we effectively. Oh, I kind of wanted that encounter. That's fine. Effectively, would have healed her, but this is fine. Um, and the reason I wanted to heal MC, even though it was only like one ice breath or two ice breaths, is the MP is kind of tight on this gauntlet. There's no. Hey, you gotta help me. We don't have time to waste here. Our teacher, she's. This is why I start pumping MP when I do too. It's like. First of all, to make Tornado stronger once I want to start using it, but also to get more NP for this section, basically. The Ice Boost will help with Orthrus here, too. And also Yaxini. I don't want to use Tornado on Yaxini. Strana's looking good, though. I'm apprehensive about the XP. That's the only thing. Like, we're ahead, but I think we're ahead because we're a little underleveled. And that will mean, worst case, we need to run around in circles after Barith trying to get a battle. Okay, talk to these walls. It doesn't matter the order you talk to them because this cutscene puts you in the middle again afterward. Okay, first Orthrus, which is really just um, Ice Breath and Attack. That's it. I think you can one turn him if you get lucky with the Ice Breath. Again, they can hit twice. Not ideal, but this turn will kill them anyway. That also wastes some NP though, which is kind of. I'm not gonna attack. I'm not gonna ice breath. That's fine. Zero, zero. We'll just do a nice breath, basically. No dubs, but that's okay. She's frozen. I'm gonna punch. Just because it's faster, and I want the MP. Uh, sure, and you punch too. Why not? Why not? Everyone punch. Okay, now you can ice breath. I mean, she's dead this turn, yeah, okay, that's fine. I, I could have attacked. Whatever, I think it should be good now. I have enough MP, I can really tornado through her, and I should still be good, even if... Um, like, worst case, there's no dubs. Usually I learn tornado early, it's a little scary I learned it there. This is like the worst case as you'll learn it here. So the strat here is just Rakunda as much as you can and then Tornado. I kind of want to beef up the Rakundas before I Tornado just to be positive. Ooh, actually my MP is rough. I can only do one more. 
Hey, that's good though. Hey, that's that's not what I wanted you to do. Uh, I just attack. I mean, I guess ice breath. This should kill. Sure. Cool, cool. That saves saves like five seconds. Uh, no. I want your Zeo. If that had stunned, it would have been fine, because the uh, heal point is going to be right, right next to me after this. Uh, split. Yeah, this is fake time. Yeah, I would have had to heal if I didn't get that shake. And uh, Hifumi can either stun or party heal. The stun would have been fine. I would have just like walked five feet to the heal room, but it's even faster if I got that. Okay, now I am praying for, once again, encounters in uh, Mantra HQ, you know? Oh, I forgot Dante. Yeah, so Dante, we're just gonna Rakunda and Tornado. Um, last run I did that failed, I got Force Boost from this fight, which is cool, because then I could use that in Daisojo next. But uh, that's fine. And there's our fiend. Turnit Ore is weird right now. Usually MC is not faster than High Pixie. And that's kind of bothering me. I don't I didn't I didn't notice if High Pixie got an agility. Hopefully she's second now. Nice meeting you, kid. Don't take this too personal. Yes. That's what I wanted. Actually, maybe I should have played that differently. No, this is fine. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, I should have done that differently. If you skip this phase, he doesn't take Kunda. That's fine. Dang. This is still fine, but... I'm not getting dubs either. He's gonna survive this. Barely. I'm just gonna attack. He's dead in like two hits. Oh, and he's picking the longest animation attacks. Okay, not the best Dante fight. Oh, dude, arrows. Don't do anything weird. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> okay, it's fine. I, he didn't make me the XP, it's fine. Yeah, not a great Dante fight, but... Whatever. It could have gone a lot worse. Okay, now we need some encounters. This run is just begging for encounters for the last half an hour. Okay, and we got one. Okay, this is looking good. It's not great though. Oh, I am so stupid. I did not know that. <laughs> How embarrassing. I was thinking about it as I was doing it. Do these guys resist that? 
Okay, not bad. Not bad XP. Uh, if I could get some birds outside, that would be cool. It's not looking like I will, though. I, okay, on the way down, I think I'll get them. Maybe right before I get to the top. I don't understand how Necromata absorbs wind, but these birds don't. I'm like 90% sure this scene won't reset the encounter rate. But now I'm doubting myself. That would be a bummer. Oh, heaven and earth shall tremble when the Almighty descends from above. God's resounding echoes shall pierce the land. His cutscene is pretty important. We actually do need his two demon buff thing that he gives us. Even if we could get to level 28 earlier than this, we would still need to watch this cutscene for the demons, for our glitches to work. Doesn't matter what I say, obviously. In fact, I think I... I think saying yes to him actually is faster. Okay, anyway. Hopefully the encounter is red right now. Okay, it is. That's what I thought. Only one, though. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Okay. I just, I'm trying to kill you. Wow, that sucks. You can get, like, a four birds. I got one. Dang, that could have been a lot better. I'm not going to get any other now. This entire run is scraping for XP. I'm really, like everything else is going perfect. Well, the Dante fight was, could have gone better, but. Everyone's hurt now, it's kind of fine. Uh, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Daisojo shouldn't kill me. Uh, I kind of want this counter. This is really close. And it like Daisojo will reset it. Okay. Uh these guys don't absorb wind, right? Right? Okay, cool. The only reason I'm doing this fight is for the XP. Daisojo is not that hard to beat in this run. And we really want XP fast. This guy gives a ton. And the strategy is the same as Dante. We're just gonna Rakunda and Tornado. I don't think I should run out of MP. Pixie might die. Okay, that would have been a bummer. <laughs> like, anyone might die. Okay. Fine. Don't kill anyone, please. Actually, that sucks, too. Uh, this is a scary fight. 
does not usually go like this. You can only attack. Okay. A punch might have done it. I wasn't sure. But whatever, we'll tornado. Now we have force boost. That would have been cool in the fight, but it was quick anyway. Oh, okay. I, I should not have risked that, but I did, and that's fine. And I, I should not have done that. I actually needed that Zeo kind of, but whatever. Like I'm mashing A too quickly. Whatever. This fight makes you face that wall for some reason. Just... Okay. Um, this is all going kind of okay. I'm not gonna get a fight before I leave, but I don't need to heal. That'll save a little bit of time. Two Fufumi shakes. It's not bad. Actually, you know, I'm not that far from a battle. I need the battle. I'm. Uh, yeah, I need it. I'm so behind. Okay, not bad. Okay, okay. I don't know if that was worth it, but... <laughs> I just really don't want to be in a position where I am begging for encounters after Barith and the encounter radar is not being nice to me. approaching the glitches. We just need to get to level 28 and Barith plus Allegor plus the optional Allegors I well, will be, I think, a little bit short. I also need like a fight or two. I think. I really did not get much to work with this run. I'm just going to ice breath these dudes. Because Kappa does uh, resist wind. Like Nekomata. Okay, I lost a run earlier today because I forgot to enter this terminal. So we are going to remember to enter this terminal. It is necessary, so we can teleport back here later.
This allegor, this first allegor on this floor, he is skippable. We don't need his Kila. I'm only fighting him for XP, and if you're really ahead on XP, you can just replace him with one of the Elagors downstairs, which are a little less far away than this guy is. But on this run, I think I need to fight every Elagor that exists. There's two mandatory ones. This one, I mean mandatory, quote unquote. This one, and... Oh, I'm gonna get an encounter now. This is great. Okay, good. Just attack you. Cool. Uh, my MP should be fine. I really shouldn't have a uh, mutated Hypixie Zeo, but it's fine. Also, that attack mirror is interesting. I don't need that, but interesting. Allegor, just Tornado. You can zeal him, but... Actually, yeah, I'll zeal. The zeal kind of guarantees that Tornado kills. Oh, I, I gave away her fucking zeal, I forgot. <laughs> That's what I was just talking about. Okay, I killed anyone. Anyway. Yeah, I am behind. I really, ideally, you're like almost level 26, or level 26 right now. I'm like halfway up level 25. I'm gonna get in another encounter though. Here, that's good. While I'm doing this puzzle. Yeah, awesome. And the reason you really want to be 28 after Barith is because the Kaiwan section is so long. He's the next boss that you could do besides encounters. And you really don't want to go through the entire Kaiwan puzzle. Uh, these guys don't absorb wind, right? I'm not stupid, am I? I need a chopper drop, but that's pretty good. Yeah, that helped a lot. Sure. This is why I bought Chakra Drops. Okay, that... I think we're right about on schedule now. The Elagors on this floor should get us what we need. So yeah, there's the one mandatory one upstairs. There's one mandatory one when I walk through this door. That indicator wasn't bad, actually. And then there's two optional ones on this floor. Why did- oh man, I thought that was a tornado. Oh, well, that's fine. This should kill. I thought I had tornado in auto memory. Okay, there's an optional one over here. Which you'll never see in a speedrun except for right now. Actually, this is a not a bad encounter. Uh, I could have taken that. Oh, but this should be fine. The other gorge should be fine. Okay, my MP is good. 
That's 26. Uh... Okay, Barith. Um, we're just gonna raccoon to and tornado him. Oh, that is... Wow, I was ahead. I was worried. We didn't even need to fight the third Elagor. Or the last Elagor. Um, I should say no to everything that all of them ask now, but... Okay, wow, okay, this is good. Um, we're behind now, but that's... Fine. I mean, we're right on schedule. We're gonna save time on this next split. Uh, we have Kodama and Shikigami. I'm gonna go to Shibuya. Infuse Shikigami and Pixie. Okay, we have some fusions to do now. Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows. Where Are you sure? Gather? Now buy back Shikigami. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Tarakaja is all that we needed there. And then High Pixie Kodama's Abstrus. Sure. And now buy back High Pixie, Pixie, Kodama, Shikigami, Lovum. Buy back everyone, basically. All right. Oh. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? This is why we needed money. Sure? Are you sure? Okay, right. we are good. Awesome. Okay, time to begin the glitches. This is where it starts getting really confusing, and I really need to look at my notes because <laughs> missing one step here is quite significant. Okay, this is good. So we're gonna save time on this split. Um, and we were like fake ahead all along. All of those green splits were like we were ahead because we didn't have any fucking battles. We needed battles. A couple of those fights went well. A couple of didn't go well. We're gonna tell these guys that we're getting the candelabrum for them. We are not actually getting them. We're going to cheat to the bottom. Okay, so this is when the game is going to start breaking. Um, the crux of all of these glitches is this trick called the Dismiss Demi Fiend glitch, or the Lunch Break glitch is its other name. Um, this is a glitch you can use to dismiss the Demi Fiend. 
The game gets weird when you dismiss the Demi Fiend. For some reason, you can only have three demons other than Demi Fiend, and there's kind of not a way to summon him back once he's gone. Um. But one thing you can do to get a fourth demon after you dismiss the Demi Fiend summoned is to buy a demon from the Labyrinth. For some reason, that will automatically insert them into the blank slot that Demi Fiend's absence has created. So we're going to go and buy Pisacha. Pisacha is level 28. That's why we needed to get to level 28. We can't buy this Pisacha unless we are the level of Pisacha. So everything we've been doing for the last hour and a half is leading up to this moment. Um, we're going to dismiss the Demi Fiend using this easy little glitch you can do with the mouse and keyboard. Then we are going to buy Pisacha. Then we have four demons. Um, for some reason, when you have four demons summoned, the game, it seems like it has a check. Like, do you have three demons summoned? That's the max you can normally have summoned, right? It's three. When you have four demons summoned, the game's check doesn't work, and you can just summon a bunch. You can start summoning, like, five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten demons. And then the game gets really glitchy and uh, enables this trick we call menu storage. We're going to use menu storage to do some really wonky stuff, including we're going to use our tutorial save that we made at the beginning of the game to go to the fifth Kalpa. But we'll do all that in a second. Let's let's do this one step at a time. So we're going to go over here to the Pisacha. Okay, no encounter, which is good. Let's do the trick right now. Uh, let's do this. Uh, did I mess it up? Okay, let me summon some shit. Okay, now let's do that. That's better. Okay. Now let's buy this Pisacha. That's another reason we needed money. I forgot about that. Now we have four demons summoned in the party. And Demi Fiend is permanently banished from this save file. Now we're going to leave, head back up to the entrance. Which unfortunately is kind of slow. We need to go through this tunnel again. Um, so I'll try to explain what I'll do next. We're going to use menu storage. Menu storage uh, lets you open a menu and then do other things while the menu is open. This has weird ramifications. Um, we're going to open a menu. Load uh, our tutorial save we made. The, game, the save at the first terminal in the game that hasn't done the tutorial yet. The tutorial looks ominously like the fifth Kalpa. And in fact, it is kind of the fifth Kappa. At least the last room of the tutorial is the fifth Kappa. So if we can suspend the game in that room, we'll be in the fifth Kappa. That's what we're going to do here. Uh, this way. We're going to save. It's important we save here. The second save of the game. We're going to warp to Shibuya. Okay. We're gonna do menu storage and then go into a battle, get kicked out to the main menu. Oh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadow. I did that wrong. Uh, okay, that should be good. Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows. All right. Okay, that's good. Now we need to go in a battle. I'm gonna set the difficulty to normal just for a second to get a battle faster. Menu with a menu open. Go to the tutorial. This is a different save file that has not yet done the tutorial. We're gonna run over here with this menu open, and while this menu is open, we're gonna load our Labyrinth of Ramala save file. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Now our Labyrinth of Amala save file is in the tutorial that it had already done. Because this section is kind of the fifth Kalpa, we can cheat our way to the fifth Kalpa. Actually, these like first few rooms are not the fifth Kalpa, and we can skip the tutorial battles because we already did them. Uh, but the final room where Lucifer talks to you at the elevator, that is literally the fifth Kalpa. So we're gonna open the menu again while we're here, and then we are going to suspend our game here. Okay, that should be good. Okay. We are in the fifth count though. Okay, now we're gonna leave for a second. We are going to suspend on this ladder really quick. For reasons that are hard to explain. Basically we're gonna do like a like a little cheat where we basically make a suspend save, but we're still playing using this ladder. Oh, that didn't work. I timed it wrong. I need to do that again. Cool. Okay, that worked. So now I just made a suspend on the ladder. If I go back to the main menu now, I will be able to load that suspend. Um, I did that because I want to go down this elevator and get the true demon ending. But I also want to make our way through Fifth Kalpa and visit Dante. And when you see this cutscene, it unfortunately kicks you out of the labyrinth. Okay, so that's the true demon ending. I don't remember if that's when I split last time, but who cares? I knew I would save time in this split, though. So that's a true demon ending. After this, I'm going to save and then reload the suspend. Then load warp this true demon save into the fifth Kalpa. Then I'll go up the fifth Kalpa and visit Dante and get one Dante. Yeah, this part is a lot, and it's a little confusing. Unfortunately, the game's glitches start, and we jump right into the most complex section of the glitches. It'll actually be easier to follow as this goes on. Anyway, these guys are congratulating us for getting the true demon of them, for getting all the candelabra that we didn't get. All we did was kill Matador and Daisojo. Pay no attention to the... Pixies battling us as we do this. Okay, we're true demons. We're gonna go save. And we're gonna 
resume our ladder suspend that we made. Mm. Lucifer wants us to go to where Kagutsuchi is. We still haven't done the assembly of Nihilo, but that's fine. This needs to be a different save. It's very important. This is a save slot three. Okay, now that we save that, we're gonna go back to the main menu. Our earlier suspend on that ladder is still there. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go up this ladder. We're gonna load warp that true demon ending save over here by doing this. Okay, now our true demon ending save is here back in the fifth Kalpa. Here's Metatron's room. He doesn't talk to you unless you come in the other door, so we can just walk past him. And now we're just going to make our way out of the fifth Kalpa. Backwards. Uh, let's talk to this golden door. Who do we have summoned? Uh, Pixie Kodama Shikigami. Where is Pixie? Yes. That's fine. We don't want to kill anyone who's summoned. Uh, this way. One-way walls. Red, red. Hopefully we don't. Oh fuck! Don't kill me, please. Okay. One hundred percent chance to run. If they had gone first, that could have gone really badly. I really cannot let a demon die. Even on merciful, you know they're like level seventy demons or whatever. <laughs> I have a pixie out. Okay, here's Dante. Actually, one of them could have died, because Dante would have taken their place in the party. Only one of them could have died, though. We don't need money anymore. It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to mash A. I mean, <laughs> we could give Dante all of our money. It doesn't matter. Demifiend has been banished, like, 15 minutes ago. Dante is now the main character of this game. In fact, one Dante is not enough. We're gonna get multiple Dantes. I can't remember which way it places it. Yeah, so we're gonna leave now. Um, it's actually, to clone Dante, it's actually important that we have access to that room. And so we need to actually unlock the fifth Kalpa. As it so happens, we can do that. So here we are in the room that unlocks the fifth Kalpa. And the only menorah it asks you for is the uh, the one that you got the first time that you meet Lucifer. So this works out very perfectly. We put our, you know, one of the only menorahs that we've actually acquired down. Now we unlock the fifth Kalpa. This means in the lobby room, we can now come back down here, which is important when we want to duplicate that Dante joint cutscene. I'm gonna leave. Uh, I actually kind of don't want to take damage. It doesn't really matter. In this tunnel thing. Usually that's okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's fine. Um, okay. I'm gonna warp to Shibuya. Part with two demons. Let's part with our dead Absurus and our well, um, That's fine. Uh. Okay. Suspend there. Okay, now we're gonna load our save two that. No, oh wait, no. Save three that has unlocked the fifth Kalpa. So now we have a suspend outside of Yoyogi Park. We're gonna clip into the trees outside of Yoyogi to get to the east side of Yoyogi. That'll let us skip like the next five dungeons. Last time we left off in the plot, we were in the assembly of Nihilo. Um, so yeah, we're going to skip whatever, the rest of Nihilo, Kabuchi, Kabuchiko Prison. Um, and the way we do that is that cutscenes in this game, for some reason, make the Demi Fiend intangible. You would never normally notice this, but it is true. So we're going to use the Dante join cutscene to make ourselves intangible briefly to clip into the trees around your yogi. And this is doubly useful because we're also going to clone the Dante join event while we're looking at this cutscene. So we just reloaded this fifth Kalpa save that unlocked this tunnel. We're going to load warp our earlier save that has not seen the Dante cutscene. Okay, perfect. Now let's do this. the trees. I'm gonna hire him. Okay, now we're gonna suspend. Cool. Okay, now we have two Dantes and we're also in Yoyogi. Uh cool. We just skipped a lot. Oh, that's interesting. I never saw- oh, fuck. Is this bad? Okay, for a second I thought I was on the wrong side. <laughs> I never went to Yoyogi on the west side. I was like, did it just place me on the wrong side? Wow, okay, that could have been bad. <laughs> anyway, here's Yuko. This is the first time I skipped the pixie join cutscene on the west side in a run. So I wasn't sure if it just placed me on the opposite <laughs> side of the park and ended the run right there. Okay, but anyway, here's Yuko. We're gonna talk to her. She'll give us the key to the park. Then we're gonna touch the Yoyogi terminal. And then go backwards to Asakusa. I could summon some Dantes right now. I will. Actually, uh, just to make this team a little bit more resilient. Okay, we touched that terminal, now we've unlocked it. Um... 
Okay, now we need to go backward through this tunnel. So I, for the rest of the run, I've been like begging for encounters for a lot of the run. From the rest of the run, we want no encounters. Unfortunately, it looks like we already have one. Like, I don't know. The game is not being nice to me. It's rare to get an encounter this quickly. Oh my god, do not kill anyone. Sacha, do everything you have. That is Stoma might actually help. There's like some lower level encounters we'll see uh, in Asakusa. If we can keep the this until then. We're losing time in a split, but that's because I added an optimization here. We can save two minutes. I guess I guess it would be on the Gary split. Okay, that was Asakusa Tunnel. Is it really going to give me another encounter? No, I think we should be good. Okay, we are... Just about to Asakusa. It plays the intro scene here, which is cool because it warped me to the stairs when it did this. I'll just turn around and go up these stairs. It almost might be worth using a stoma again. I'll watch the radar and see if it's worth using a stoma. Okay, now we're making our way backwards here. Walk through some one-way walls that would have blocked a normal player. Just scoot right by here. Um, I'm gonna go over here to the terminal so we can warp back here later. The reason we're doing this, by the way, is because we need to unlock the Marunochi entrance of the Assembly of Nihilo so that we can get to the obelisk later because the obelisk is also where the Tower of Kagatsuchi is and we need to go to the Tower of Kagatsuchi, Tower of Kagatsuchi later in the game. Yeah, this time loss is big. It's a route change. Oh yeah. Hmm. Anyone? I wonder that. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna go to Sakahagi. This is the route change I made. Is we're gonna use one of the Dante clone cutscenes. We're gonna get three Dantes for sure, you know? So we might as well clip into something useful while we're cloning him all three times. Or I guess we only clone him twice. We got one legit quote-unquote Dante. So I thought of clipping from up here down to Mifunashiro. That should save like two minutes. So you need to, you need to say hi to Sakahagi and to Fudo Mimi, so that Hijiri will unlock the Assembly of Nihilo entrance. How do I even split here? Do I split when I have the third Dante? Okay. So just as before, we're gonna make a suspend where we want to clip out. Good. We're going to load our Labyrinth of Amala save that has the fifth Kappa unlocked. So 
Is it the last time we'll come to the Labyrinth of Ramala? It doesn't matter if I get hit or not in this minigame. We don't need money here either. Like, we're not actually going to progress from this save file load. This save file load is purely to activate the Dante cutscene and then duplicate that cutscene into the suspend that I made in Asakusa. And we're going to use this cutscene to get a third Dante and also to clip down to Mifunashiro, which should save about two minutes, versus going all the way around Mifunashiro, or uh, through Asakusa to Mifunashiro. Dante playing. I'm gonna load this save. Uh, clip down here. I'm gonna accept Dante. Yes, you're hired. Okay, we have three Dantes. Cool. I mean, I guess that's split. Whatever, Dante squad. It's a weird place to split now. It made more sense before. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and summon these guys now. Uh, yes, no, yes, no, okay. Cool, now we got our final party, the main characters of the game, Dante, 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 and Take Minikata. Welcome to... Have you as for we beyond it? I'm true. I wouldn't. Oh, we did it. We okay. Since we touched the Asakusa terminal, we can uh, warp right back. Say hi to Hijiri. He should. Um, now, tell us to go to the Marunochi entrance of Assembly of Nihilo, which we won't do, but later we kind of will go there just so we can get to the Tower of Kagatsuchi. You see this for I've not. Okay, back to Yayogi. Now we can actually do this dungeon. You know, legit-ish. Other than the fact that we have three Dantes, this is a, le a legit uh, dungeon. Excuse me, Trill. Okay, um, the boss of this dungeon, Gary, he can end the run. He has ended runs. He is actually kind of hard to beat. Uh, mainly because Take Minakata can't die.
gonna get an encounter. That's fine. I'll just run away. Now we might get a second encounter. Actually, I think we'll barely not get it. I've had better luck with encounters. I've gone like almost all of Yo Yogi without an encounter. I mean, it's it's like five seconds, but it's and you know, 100% escape chance. But it's faster to just not have to do that at all. I just want to check Minikata. Yeah, yeah, he's good. I just want to check if he got injured at all because Gary can whack him for some damage. The trick here, I mean, he repels Fizz. Unfortunately, Dante is better at Fizz than he is at Magic, but we're gonna provoke, provoke, whirlwind, whirlwind. That's it. Um, he's gonna Dekunda almost every turn, but it's possible he doesn't Dekunda sometimes. And since he's gonna be like plus four attack, his whacks are gonna hurt Minakata a lot, but hopefully he just doesn't panic or kill Minakata and we're good. It's merciful, so he still misses all the time. And Dante's can't die here at all, so. It's just Minakata. It's a question of whether or not he survives this. Sometimes doesn't Dekunda here. He might panic voice. Okay, whatever. Oh my god! That would've hurt. <laughs> Not optimal, but it's pretty good. And just double provoke attack attack kills this guy. Cool. 
Complete watch rolls so you stop leveling up. Uh, replace that, I guess. Minakata got a ton of levels, but I don't want anything. The only thing that's maybe useful is Dekaja, but actually I don't care about it. Um, in theory, you could use it during Kagutsuchi, but I don't, don't actually care. Uh, no. Okay, I think I split early, but, you know, none of this matters. Um, okay, now we're going to... You can walk forward here, it doesn't matter, it places you backward. Gonna head to the terminal, warp back to Yuko, and then we can advance the plot to Ike Bukuro. Skipping a lot of the plot, obviously, until this point, but... This game is very nice with its plot checks. All it cares about is that you do... You know, one plot check at a time. It's not checking if, like, all of the last... 20 plot events have happened. Okay, back to Yoyogi. Let's go talk to Yuko. Okay, at this point, no battles can kill us. I mean, in theory, Kagutsuchi could, but it, it really can't. Gary was like the boss of the game. Uh. So now it's just a matter of executing all of the glitches. There's still a lot of ways you can kill the run. I'm glad. Oh. Then. This. I These dialogue options don't matter. Obviously, I already locked myself to the true demon, I think. Okay, now we can go back to that terminal and warp uh, to Ike Bukuro. What the fastest way to navigate this courtyard is? Unfortunately, there's some plot we need to do here. Um, at this point, we're high enough level we can astoma away all of the encounters here, if we even get one. So I'll watch the radar. If it's getting red, I'll astoma. next place to save time is. Oh, we are going to get an encounter. Alastoma on the way up. It's not going to go back down, is it? Kagatsuchi. Is it going up right now or down? Okay, yeah, Alastoma now. Yeah, what was the other big miss in this round? To be honest, I'm a little surprised we're not more ahead. We had the new skip, and then we also didn't mess up the fusion as much.
We're never going to see this person again. None of this matters. <laughs> the game really wants to make sure we see this cutscene, though. It would be nice if we could skip this. So much. Oh, actually, we won't get this encounter. Okay. I'm jumping off this building resets the encounter rate. Dante, fun fact, does not take damage from this fall. And we have a team of Dantes. So Minakata is the only one who got hurt from this. Uh, anyway, we're going to stop by the healer to refill Dante's MP just in case we need that. Wow, this is a quick encounter. I mean, it's going to stomach away, though. <laughs> I guess we didn't need to heal any everyone, but it doesn't matter. What? It didn't get a stomach. Wow, okay. That's a waste of time. That's weird. I got an Oni out here. I mean, anything else would have been a stomach. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Since we did that, coming back here will send us to the um, Amala Network 3 event. On his way to the diet building in search of Magatsuhi. This guy's talking about some plot stuff we'll never see. Some girl has inherited the power of Gozu Tenno. There's an abandoned temple where a ton of Magatsuhi lies forgotten. Mannequins are gathered in Mifunashiro, demanding their own reason. And. Huh? Let's go. Oh, look. It's you. Shit! He's pulling me in! Um, okay, next boss is Spectre 3. We have three Dantes, so it will go very easily.
There's two ways you can do this fight. They're both about the same. You can either do two sometime twice, or you can do provoke provoke two some once. And it's about the same because two some is such a long animation. I just do two some twice. Next split is debug object. It is what it sounds like. We have a secret debug object we found here. Uh, so we're gonna clip out of bounds and activate this debug object, which will skip us ahead like all the way to the end of the game, basically. Let's do this. Okay, suspend so right there facing that wall. We're gonna reload an old save we have in file slot two. Um, we're going to use cutscene storage here. Okay. What seems to be the map? Should be good. Okay, now we should be in the wall next to this debug object hanging out here. Hello. I'll set the Pyramidian. Pyramidian has been set. That is the, uh, the pyramid you get at the end of dive building done. Uh, warp to Ginza. Okay. Split. Cool, so okay, so we just skipped like five dungeons or something. Now we need to make our way over to the Tower of Kagatsuchi because we set the Pyramidium. Since we did the Asakusa chores earlier, looking at Sakahagi and Mifunashiro, uh, Hijiri unlocked the entrance to the Marunochi uh, side of Nihilo, which goes to Obelisk. But Obelisk is now the Tower of Kagatsuchi, so... Uh, I'm gonna watch the radar for encounters here. I can Astoma on this side of the bridge. I probably cannot Astoma on the other side, but... This is looking good. We're not gonna get an encounter anyway. Oh, uh, actually, maybe. <laughs> maybe barely. I'm just gonna Astoma it here. It'll last a while. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. Whatever. Oh, perfect. It dispelled it right before I got off the bridge. Nice. Uh, nice. I narrowly avoided a couple encounters there, too. Walking a straight line for a while. Uh, so next we have the Moira sisters. So we're gonna since the tower. Oh, okay, yeah, go away. Since the tower of Kagatsuchi has been opened, 
Um, we can skip all of the obelisks. We're just going to go into the front door, basically right to the end of the dungeon. Our sisters obviously will not be a hard fight. We don't need to save. We haven't saved in like a thousand years, but it's fine. Oh, we're gonna get an encounter here. Uh, okay. So here's like the top of the obelisk. guys are in our way. This is not a hard fight though, obviously. You can do it in two turns. Possibly three. Oh, I messed up already. I thought Provoke was at the bottom. Okay, I already messed it up. This might be a three turn fight. She didn't use Makara Karn or Tetra Karn. Okay, this is great. Our oh, Atropos is probably barely alive. Oh, actually, they're both alive. Okay, that's fine. This will kill them. Uh, okay, well, now you're dead. We do not need Stinger. We don't need to talk to you. Stop talking to me. Hey, we got some Magatama we'll never use. I'm surprised I saved time there. I wonder what happened. Okay, now we're in the final dungeon. Oh my god. Ah! Okay. At least that was like a really short elevator. Actually, the way up is long. The way down is quick. Okay, now we're in the final dungeon. Okay, the next uh, big new glitch we're about to unveil is that we can run away from boss battles. Really, this only works in a couple boss battles, but it happens to work on all of the Tower of Kagetsuchi boss battles. So we're going to use it on all of these guys. This will be way faster than fighting them. Uh, to get this to work, we need to get an encounter. And we need our head Dante to escape from that encounter. We're going to use Ribirama to make sure we get an encounter before this next save point. Oh my god. I should have looked at that. That's fine. Well, this is fine. Yeah. Actually, this is good. Uh... Okay. Now our front man, Dante, has ran away. Now we can Astoma. This Astoma will stay active for a while. Which is fine. That means like we won't see the message pop up over and over. It is very important that we save here. Uh, 
save. Doesn't actually matter what save slot you use. Uh, I have notes for directions, but I think I know where to go. Kind of radar is being nice. Ah, uh, kind of. This isn't great, actually. Okay, here's a little block puzzle. We're gonna cheat and skip this block puzzle. Did not work. Okay, I'll do that again. That worked. Little skip. I don't know why that trick works actually. For some reason, load warping while a block is moving saves the location that you're in. Here's Ari Man. We will not be fighting him. We will be running away from him. The way this works is uh, if you have auto memory enabled, if for some reason loading a save file in the middle of a battle will trigger your auto memory. And right now Dante has running in his memory. Let me set this up. Okay. Dante is running away in his memory. Normally if you have auto memory enabled and you have a something like running or an item or summoning, the game will filter that next time you press auto into an attack. But for some reason, if you load a save file while in a battle, it'll use auto for some reason, first of all, and then that auto won't get filtered. So Dante will just run away from our event. I don't know why that happens or why it works like that, but that's how it works. We're gonna do this. This doesn't work on most bosses. In fact, it only works really on the Tower of Kagetsuchi bosses for some reason. So that's why we didn't skip Gary or Moray Sisters. Okay. Are we done? Yes, I hit it. Yeah, running away counts as defeating them for some reason. For almost every other boss, if you try this, you'll run away and it'll play the cutscene uh before the battle again but for some reason on these guys the reason bosses it plays the cutscene after the battle which is the one that gives you the reason stone you need so is it descending or ascending it's ascending i'm gonna do this now
It is very important we save here. We need to save so that next time we run away from the next boss by loading a save file in the middle of the battle, it remembers that we beat Ari men because we need to have his reason stoned. probably skip this puzzle but it's faster just to do it which is like the explanation for why we don't clip out of bounds a lot of places it takes like two minutes to clip out of bounds so you need to save at least that much time when you clip um we might get an encounter before noah but it's fine it's i could uh load warp it away because that does reset the encounter rate but it's uh it's just as fast to take the encounter and we might not get it anyway Okay, so once again, we're gonna set up menu storage, going into this Noah fight, and then run away from him. Actually, I really don't want this battle to pop while I'm doing menu storage. I guess this is okay. Uh, okay, actually, I preferred that to happen. I didn't want that battle to pop while I had the menu open over here. Okay. So once again, we're going to run away from Noah. This is great for Noah, because this guy is like the slowest fight in the game. As I'm mashing this dialogue before the fight, it's funny I can't mash A and B like I normally do, because I can't close the menu, or I don't want to close the menu. My great collection of items. Two kilos. One menorah. Okay, there's Noah beaten. Cool, cool. Talk three area, we're gonna actually buy some medicines. Ignore that camera turn. It was because I load warped. <laughs> um, these medicines, probably don't need as many of them as I'm gonna buy, but it's not bad to have them for uh, Kagatsuchi. another encounter. I mean, it's not a big deal if I do. I will get another encounter. Oh, actually, that reset it. I didn't know that. I'm gonna hold R1 to buy medicines really quickly. Hello mm -hmm. there. Oh. That okay go. with you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey -o. Cool. 
Okay, up here is door. We can skip door. We're gonna do that. There's actually a couple ways to skip him. This way is a little faster because we'll also skip the maze. Gonna hug this wall. Suspend. And we're gonna use our um, one of our Labyrinth of Ramallah saves. This one. Skipping Thor here is really precise. This room is, uh, the out-of-bound walls are very close to the floor. What seems to be okay, we're in the wall. I'm gonna suspend. Now we are in the wall, we're out of bounds, but you can really fall off very easily here. So I'm gonna edge around Thor's plot trigger here. Uh, okay, good time for that. Okay. Okay, good. Skip, skip Thor, and I skip the uh, maze. That went well. Now let's uh, let's use lift on that gun. Ignore the uh, nausea uh, graphical effect. That's because the lady in black cutscene that I stored was doing that effect. And fortunately, I have carried that over. <laughs> It'll go away eventually. this battle might make it go away. I could save here. No, it's, I mean, I wouldn't have made it anyway. That's fine. I was going to save up at the next one, 3C, I think. But I could have also saved there and dodged that encounter, but the encounter popped anyway, it didn't matter. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, just set this one last... Oh yeah, let's save first. Wow, I almost forgot that. Save and then we'll run away from this. losing time just because I got more encounters than I got last run, but that's fine. There's nothing you can do about that. Cool. 
All that's left is Kagatsushi. We don't need to save. Um, a lot of our team composition was building up to this Kagatsuchi fight. Obviously, this is merciful mode, so that helps a lot, but we still want to do this fight fast. That's the main reason we got Takemi Nakata. Takemi Nakata, first of all, can pass his turn to Dante if he wants to give Dante more turns, so we don't need four Dantes. So having a fourth demon pass their turn is effectively the same. But the second reason is Takemi Nakata has Tarukaja. We passed him from Shikigami. And that will speed up this fight a lot. Dante, Provoke is cool, but not having Tarukaja makes the fight a lot slower. Can I make those? Okay, fine. Okay, so this fight's gonna be... I'm gonna Provoke him to minus four, I'm gonna Tarukaja up to plus four. And then I'm just going to do a ton of rebellions. On phase one, I'm going to kind of try to count to 20,000. Because if you over if you overshoot 20,000, he doesn't phase shift until it's his turn. So I'm not going to, I'm going to try to like end my turn once I hit 20,000. Kind of try to count. So it'll be past Provoke, past Terukaja, times two. And then pass Rebellion, pass Tarukaja times two. This is the reason we couldn't skip Noah and Baal Avatar, obviously, is we need to put their stones here. And this is the reason we need to save in between them too, because I was load warping to run away, but if I hadn't saved between each fight, the Lord Warp would have erased the progress of defeating the other fight and getting their stone. So. Oh, it would be hit nice to hit sub 240, but I think we're going to be right about 240. Let me set this up. Okay, cool. Here we go. For good luck, I'll uh, discard some items. What do we not need here? Uh, we don't need you. I'll keep you just in case. I don't think I'll, I'll need a revival beat, but <laughs> why not? Even discard the lucky ticket for good luck. This is where the 99 medicines come in. I'll be healing while this fight goes on. Actually, I can heal right now. Minakata's already hurt. How did he get hurt? Whatever. Okay, pass provoke, pass Tarukaja is the plan. That's plus four. So it's like ten thousand. Wow, that hurt. Yeah! 
I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Did that last one crit? I think that's like 16,000. 15 or 16. Okay, that's like 19. Uh, yeah, sure, attack. You attack too. Okay, that's enough. Everyone just attack. That's definitely enough. Cool. Okay, now we're just gonna rebellion till the end. Now we can just turn on auto, we should be good. Okay, Kagatsuchi's not even gonna get a turn. I don't think he's gonna attack at all for the rest of the fight. If you're unlucky with crits, I think he can do Eternal Light, but he'll be good here. Yeah, I could just attack from this point, it would be good, but... Oh, okay, there we go. Wow. Wow. That's fine. That's interesting. I didn't think that would happen. He's almost dead. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Rest in peace, Take Minakata. He died for a worthy cause. He got four Tarukajas up. Let's discard this crap. We don't need this. Got some gems. Okay, all that's left is Lucifer, and uh, just like the reason bosses, we actually can run away from Lucifer. So, um, our Dante won. If we load the save file, we have the last save we made before Ball Avatar. He should still have escape in his auto memory. So we're just going to load that right as the fight starts, and that should run away from Lucifer, and it should be GG. The Kairutsuji fight wasn't bad. I mean, it's interesting he used infinite light. I, usually he dies before that. I guess I got a little bit unlucky with crits, although I thought I was getting a lot of them. That's fine. Just like one extra turn, and it made me to kind of die, but that doesn't matter. I feeling that would be a record because I You've proven yourself with your awesome power. had a couple improvements and no mistakes this run. A little bit bad luck with encounters and experience, but that's pretty good. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, you who have lurked in darkness 
and cool. waited for this day. Hear me. Well, to beat this run. Demon of darkness has been born. The time has come. To beat this run, you either need really good luck or a new skip. So that's it. For now. To the final battle where our true enemy awaits. There's that demi fiend guy who is not part of this final battle at all. This is a Dante game. Okay, let's check out what the in-game time says. It's interesting, normally when you do the true demon ending, you see a different graphic in these credits than you do for the other endings. You see like a, it's instead of the color blue, they're all red and they show slightly different scenes. But for some reason, running away from Lucifer triggers like the blue credits, which is really weird. But then once I save on, uh, you know, once I save at the end of these credits, it'll say I got the true demon ending and obviously I did. So it's really interesting, like, defeating Lucifer has a flag that sets these credits to be different, but not running away from Lucifer. It's really weird. Anyway. Yeah, what happened in these splits? We have... Exception went normal. Fornius SMC was great. That might have been the best SMC I've ever had. It would have been cool if I got a Huapo, but it didn't matter at all in the end. Um, I only had, I think, three battles. It was a Kodama battle, a Willy battle that I ran away from immediately, and then a Shikigami battle that I got immediately. Nothing interrupted me. Nothing stopped me from running, I think. And then Spectre... I think this went well. I saved a lot of time in these sections because I just didn't get encounters, and I was I wanted encounters. So I was behind on XP. The Dante fight actually went badly. The Thor fight didn't go great either. I messed that one up. Uh, actually, all four of these fights were not perfect. Um... I think I lost time here because I started making up my encounters and I got to level 28 just as Barith happened. I saved time here because last run I messed up my fusions. This is a fake red because I summoned my fourth Dante at a different time this time to save a few minutes, which then is seen here at the Gary split. I saved a couple minutes. Um, I messed up a ladder suspend once on the true demon ending. Um, I messed up the block skip once on this Ariman split. That was like 20 seconds. Yeah, the rest of this is good. I think I just got a bunch of encounters here and was losing time throughout Yoyogi and these other sections that I was running away from. And it's like five seconds each, which added up. Yeah, this is really good.
Okay, let's see what the in-game time is. Two, two, two. Neat. Okay. Thanks for watching. That was fun.